Hey, this is Dave from MeRC, and you're watching part six of the FT Legacy build series. And this is an important part because we're going to start getting into the FPV section of the plane with the FPV pod and the electronics, and then finalizing the plane and getting everything ready to go for that first flight. So stay tuned. Well, let's talk about the FPV setup next. Now, you might remember I have this connection here for the video transmitter and the camera, and that's coming off the Maytac F411 flight controller right here, which is mounted on the tray that I put in. See the earlier videos for that on how the tray was made, but we want to talk about what we're going to do with these signals for the transmitter and the camera. And the first thing I thought about was I needed some sort of FPV tray right here or FPV pod. So for the FPV pod I came up with the sketch like this and I know it's kind of dimensionless and kind of sketchy so I'll just show you what it actually looks like and what I've done is made up my own foam pod and mounted it onto the front tray that comes with the kit. So the Legacy kit actually comes with two of these and I went ahead and just glued my pod to that and the way this fits is it just goes down in here like that and I've got my video transmitter right here 1.3 gigahertz and I made sure that the antenna did not interfere with the electronics so I powered it up made sure I had satellites and I had the wing on it and then I powered up this transmitter and made sure that it didn't interfere with anything including the GPS satellites okay so I got that located about where I wanted it. and this is for the pan right here which will probably also have a tilt servo later on. And once I did that, I turned it over to my son John to make a 3D printed version. And this is a PET-G filament that was used to print this, PET-G. He wanted to try that out, so I got him a roll of PET-G. We were going to make it out of ABS and just went with PETG instead. Okay, and that works the same way. It actually slides underneath this, you know, this support right here, but above the tray. So these little notches go above the tray, so it kind of clamps it in there. Okay, next I made this little wiring harness, and this splits out the video and camera signal right here so that you can connect up your camera and your video transmitter. Also has a place for the battery right here. This end goes into that other plug I showed you. So it plugs in right here like this, but of course I'll run it underneath like that and then go ahead and plug it in. And then this comes out here and goes to the pod where we can hook up the camera. Got a camera right here. So that'll just plug right in here and it's going to get its voltage. The voltage is an external battery which I'm going to have plugged on there, a flight battery, like this. Okay, so looking at the battery, that's actually going to mount right here. I'm going to put a piece of Velcro around this, and then that's just going to Velcro right there for the camera. That makes it so I can unplug the video if I want to fly without FPV. So you might want to trace out the front cover right here from the original so that you have a copy of it just in case you need to make another one. I also saved this outer rim from the punch out so if I want to just lay that down and trace in here I can. So good things to save that you can use later. So I'm going to go ahead and build a second tray with a uh, hot melt and then I'll probably paint both of these to match. So now I've got my tray built here and I've gone ahead and cut the two points that are right on the edges of these two flanges. I just cut them off because this has got to go straight down in there and I can't put it in first and then do that once the pod is in. So I cut those points off. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert it like this. Put my barbecue skewer in. And I'm going to put the tray in here like that and hot melt it down so that it's all one piece and then I can go ahead and paint it. Now I'm going to use a pan and tilt servo system like this one. There's a servo underneath here for the tilt and then there's of course the one that's on the pod for the pan and a Mobius or a run cam can be mounted flat right here on this plate 
and the FPV camera right along beside it. That way when it's panning and tilting the HD cam will move along with the FPV cam. Okay I'm gonna go ahead and hot melt the FPV pod down onto this front cover. So the hot melt should be hardened up now. Let's go ahead and take it out of here and just see how it works. There we go. And when we want to put it back in, just slide it in like that and then put the skewer back in. All right, let's go paint it. The FBV pod is now painted and I'm just letting that dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue together the CXN pan tilt unit right here. And this came from ReadyMade RC. You can find this on Thingiverse and I'll put a link to this and the ReadyMade RC pan tilt in the description under the video. So the CXN pan tilt is made out of some sort of rubbery plastic so it has a little flex to it. Very hard to break but it is easy to glue together. You can just use CA glue. When you put this plate together make sure this shiny side here is up because that's where you're going to put your velcro for your camera. Alright let's glue it together. Okay so you can see here that the shiny side is right here on the top for the plate and for the camera mount the shiny sides on the back and rough is in the front with the CXN logo and then these things on the bottom to mount the servo the shiny side is on the outside right here on both of them rough on the inside then for the uh, tilt right here you can see the rough sides on the outside there, shiny in the middle. That's the smooth part. And then for this cross member, it's rough on top, smooth on the bottom. So that's how you put it together. Now the way the servos mount, one servo goes on the bottom like this, mounts just like that, and then the tilt mechanism goes on here, and and screws onto this piece right here that pivot with the provided screws right here and of course the other servo for the pan is just going to mount onto this like right there now if you're going to use hobby king pan tilt servos i recommend you use the turnigy 50090m as opposed to the Hectronics 900s. These chatter a lot less. They seem to be a lot smoother. So here's the completed pan tilt mounted onto the FPV pod with the video transmitter right here. And a Mobius camera or a run cam like this one can go onto this Velcro right here on that pad. And then you can control the pan and tilt from knobs on your radio. Getting ready to install the landing gear, and I've got the wheels on there now using the hardware that came with the flight test kit for the Legacy. Uh, it had a locking nut on the back here, which goes on, don't have to worry about it. And then on the front, there were some collets, and I went ahead and put a little bit of Loctite on the threads of the screw for the collet, just to make sure it wouldn't come off. I also kind of wallowed out the hole a little bit to make sure it spun freely because it was kind of tight. So those will screw on the bottom with these screws right here. Then I'm also going to add a tail wheel. And this tail wheel bracket right here was made by or designed by Matthew Stevenson and it's on Thingiverse. I'll put a link to that underneath the video in the description. As you can see the tail wheel bracket is 3D printed and John, my son, did the printing for me. And then I put some collets and I bent a piece of wire right here and I had a wheel in my collection that I used. So pretty much just from stuff I had laying around and a 3D printed bracket. So the tail wheel assembly goes right over this skid that was there with the kit. It's just part of the foam board. So it goes right over that. And then this lays right in the groove right here in the rudder, on the bottom of the rudder. And then you can just hot melt it into place. 
So the tail wheel is now hot melted on and seems to be working okay. There we go. So it moves with the rudder. I finally decided to just tape over this part here to give that a little bit of room to wiggle. But this is hot melted down here. And here is the landing gear all installed. Just four screws to go in the bottom that were provided in the package. So some people were concerned about the power to the ESCs, the wires they thought were too long. So I've pulled these through as far as I can get them towards the center and I might be able to reduce these down by three inches, maybe cut this section off, remove about three inches out of that, but that's about all I can do because I still need room to plug in the, the power when I put the wing on. So it pretty much makes it impossible to make them any shorter. So I'll just go ahead and maybe reduce these wires before I, before I put the wing on. All right, adding the barbecue skewers to the tail. I'm gonna go ahead and hot melt those in. It just wouldn't be right without the Flight Test Signature Barbecue Skewers. Could have used carbon fiber, yeah. But, in keeping with Flight Test, you got to have some barbecue skewers somewhere. So there we go. So other than a, a few finishing touches with the programming and adjustments, I think it's probably ready for a flight test. In the next video, however, I want to cover more about the F411 flight controller and how to configure it and what the wiring looks like. So the next video will be more electronic orientated. So see you next time and we'll get into some basic electronics and configuring of the flight controller.